Hello there, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome. So, uh, we will be playing Warplan today. Now, <laughs> it seems as if the, uh, whoops, need to new, uh, mute that. There we go. Yeah, it seems like it just needs to be uh, updated on the Matrix side here. Believe it or not, we're not going to be playing Mare Nostrum today. <laughs> what I'm going to do here, then, is get these links shared, and if you guys are in the chat, do let me know about it. Make some noise, people. Make some noise. Let's see. It's going to be quite a nice test here. I think it's one of the few times um, that Matrix is actually using this system. So let's see how it goes, right? Okay. I'm going to get the music going here in just a second. The music's actually really quite good. Got to admire it. Really quite happy with it. Let's just see here. There we go. Okay, so we are ready to go here, 6pm, looking forward to this. So what we're going to be doing here then today is we are going to be playing as the Axis forces, as you can imagine. I did have a, <laughs> it was a hard choice between either uh, as the allies or the Axis. But I suppose in a lot of ways it is rather fun being the Axis player. Of course you can sort of dictate what is actually going to be going on here really. We have a few options as well, which I'm actually looking quite forward to really do have a few things that we can definitely change about the war at large. So we're going to go with 1939 here. So, the game starts September 1st, 1939, with Germany at war with the United Kingdom, France, Poland, Italy, the USSR, and the USA are neutral in the conflict at the start of the scenario. The scenario simulates historical conditions at the beginning of the war. Keeping Italy neutral until Paris is occupied by the Germans, it is bounced with play by email, hot seat, and computer opponents. This scenario is best played versus a computer opponent as the Axis or Allied Human player. That's fine, but so we'll go ahead and play as the Axis from 1939. This one's going to be rather intriguing, then. Okay. Okay. And there we go. I'm just going to get the actual music right here, so let's just adjust the volume. Ignore the game as it uh, scrolls. <laughs> uh, we'll try 20 there, but I think what I'm going to have to do here then is edit it as we go through. Germany has declared war on Poland. Confident the United Kingdom and France would do nothing against that aggression, as they had done in the past. On September 3rd, uh, both England and France declared war on Germany, honoring their defensive pact with Poland. The Western Allies realize appeasement was a failure, and Germany's aggression must be stopped. Italy is neutral and unprepared for war, unsure of the situation, they fail to honor the Pact of Steel. Germany has signed a 10-year non-aggression pact and trade agreement with the Soviet Union, ensuring that for at least three years, the USSR will not join the war. A secret protocol was signed between Germany and the USSR that would divide Poland's spoils between themselves. Poland is surrounded on all sides, and their position seems hopeless versus a German juggernaut. There we go. Right, just gonna quickly alter the volume here. Seems like the actual music is a tad bit loud. It's one of these things. Sometimes I do tend to have the music outside the game, just so I have a great degree of control over it. But okay. Uh, for those of you who are in the chat, do let me know if the actual audio is loud enough. How you doing there, Alexander? It's good to have you, my dude. <laughs> yeah, we're playing the Germans. And not the Hungarians this time. So let's see here then. So we do have a scenario notes. The Axis victory take and hold as many objectives as possible for as long as possible throughout the game. The Axis win if they have enough victory points, and Germany or Italy will survive until the end of the game. But that's quite good then. Um, it's not make or break. We can only we can go forward even with just Germany alone. Audio is good. That's fantastic then. Sounds a little bit louder my end, but it might be just because I'm not used to this game really. Okay, then we do have the Allied victory here. Uh, take and hold as many objectives as possible. The Allies win if they have enough victory points, or Germany and Italy have surrendered. Now, it makes no note of the Soviet Union here. Or Germany particularly, uh, yeah. So even if we were to potentially knock them out of the war, does <laughs> I don't think it's going to make much of a difference to the Allies there. Okay. Germany Axis. Starts the game at war with... Yes, yeah, starts the game at war with the United Kingdom, France and Poland. German surrenders when all their cities of production have been taken. France... Okay, so Hungary. If France has surrendered, Hungary will join as Axis in November of 1940. 
Romania, if France has surrendered, Romania will join as Axis in November 1940. If France has surrendered, Finland will join the Axis March 13th, 1941. Bulgaria will join as the Axis if Greece is invaded. Okay, so we have a few more things. This is what I really like about these kind of games, really. is the sort of alternative history they could potentially go for. It's nice to have a war game, but also to have some sort of sense of geopolitics, which is really quite nice. Okay, so the Molotov-Ribbentrop Pact. Germany needs to keep six land units within ten hexes of Warsaw. If this garrison is less than six units, the USSR will gain plus one percent entry each turn towards the Allies, as long as the garrison is undermanned. The United Kingdom starts a war within, with Germany. They never surrender by loss of their country and will fight on with any available resources. Hey dude, my talent. Good to have you, my dude. Poland starts a war with Germany. At the end of the second term for the Axis, the USSR will take the eastern part of Poland as part of the Molotov-Ribbentrop Pact. And we do have France over here, man. Uh, France starts a war with Germany. The Axis may negotiate a surrender when enough production brown circles and manpower green circles, urban areas, these ones are, have been occupied. A negotiated uh, surrender forms a neutral Vichy France, which will control parts of southern France. French colonies will also become part of Vichy as a separate state. Declared War and Vichy colony will not be a declaration of War and Vichy France. If no negotiated surrender is given, France will fight on from their colonies with any resources remaining. An Axis player that wants to fully conquer France instead of a negotiated peace, installing Vichy France and her colonies must take all France, Algiers, and Damascus. So that would mean obviously crossing over into North Africa, which is something that uh, I believe even Halder uh, admitted, yeah, it was kind of impossible uh, <laughs> to do while I was planning to invade the British Isles. We might actually go ahead and um, pursue this as an option, really. It would be kind... I don't know, it would be interesting to see what we could potentially do if we had access to all the resources of France. But then again, having a Vichy France, it, it's, it is a remarkably advantageous position to have there. But then again, it's one of these things where they would inevitably turn against us, or it could be a liability there, really. French Syria. We've negotiated surrender, will become Vichy... Only if there's no access or British land units. So it seems that we could have these colonies enforced to play along with the Vichy government in France then. Uh, so that's quite interesting. Yeah, Damascus can be a problem. I would definitely imagine it would be a uh, rather large problem. Italy uh, will join the Axis when Paris is occupied. If Algiers or any free non-Alpine border hexes in the Alps is left empty of French units, Italy will join the Axis alliance and have the option to declare one of the Allies. The Allies may negotiate a surrender with Italy when enough production and manpower urban areas are occupied. Italy's morale breakpoint is decreased from 62 to 56 once the USA enters the war. Okay. Uh, the USA becomes an Allied power on December 7th, 1942. <laughs> yeah, uh, sorry, 1941. Not uh, 19,412 AD. <laughs> when the space battleship Yamato declares war there. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. The more territory the Axis take from the United Kingdom, the earlier the USA comes into the war on the Allied side. So that's quite interesting, actually, isn't it? That is rather intriguing. Hmm. It does make you wonder. I mean, it's one of these things of you do want to get the United Kingdom out of the war, but then again, you have to really take into consideration that will bring the USA in. I know, right, 18,000 years before prefer the Americans. We've got, we've got this, baby. The 18,000-year Reich. Right, okay. The USR. Now, this one's rather interesting. They joined the Allies in May 1942, or when Germany declares war on the USSR. German invasion of the Baltic States drastically increases the USSR's entry towards the Allies, allowing them to join the Allies in the summer of 1940. During the game, the USSR will annex the Baltic States, Bessarabia from Romania, the border hexes in Finland and eastern Poland as part of a non-aggression pact with Germany. The USSR's armour and mechanised corps have operation points of an infantry corps until 1942, when their operation points start going up throughout the year, maximising September of 1942 to reflect their poor organisation and combat doctrines up to that point. Okay. <laughs> Indeed, bomb that with Milka. You know what, God, I wish I had some Milka chocolate, that stuff is amazing. Right, Iraq will join the Axis if Cairo is controlled by the Axis. Norway will generate a small call for the Axis if attacked by the Allies. Italy, Portugal, Spain and Sweden will shift 15 to the Axis. Sweden will deploy reserves to the iron ore mines. Persia will join the Axis if Baghdad, uh, Baghdad has a German unit occupying it. Spain, 
If the USA is neutral, Spain will consider joining the Axis Alliance. The invasion of the United Kingdom sways Spain to join the Axis Alliance. The more successful Germany is, the greater the shift until they join the Axis. Spain will join the Axis if Gibraltar is controlled by the Axis. Now that's interesting, actually. See that? I think it's one of these things here. It seems like... Uh, also, we do have this one here. Turkey will join the Axis if Baku is controlled by the Axis and the USA is neutral. So it's one of these. We are... We're given a lot of options here. In some ways, it actually does seem like the superior option to really not go for the United Kingdom. But then, obviously, that does bring about the fact that uh, you're always going to have a United Kingdom trying to, well, believe it down your throat there. But we could potentially bring in Turkey. But we could definitely go for Spain. I mean, Spain, uh, whether or not it's actually a useful allied nation or not, but at least it is something to have there. Now, Yugoslavia is rather intriguing. We'll join the Axis if Greece is conquered. Four March of 1941. An allied call, uh, sorry, an allied coup will occur in March of 1941, causing Yugoslavia to change their loyalty to the Allies. Hmm. Uh, do we attack the Soviets or more operations in the Mediterranean? I think more operations in the Mediterranean might be a potentially good idea. It does make me wonder if we were able to. Hmm. It's one of those. I don't think we'd be able to base units in Turkey, would we? I mean, Yugoslavia is a shame there. Unless otherwise noted, above countries will automatically surrender where all their production and manpower urban areas are occupied. So even if we were to uh, conquer Greece, Yugoslavia would join us for a time, but an allied coup would occur in March of 1941, causing Yugoslavia to change their loyalty to the Allies. So, you could say it's a very unreliable ally there in Yugoslavia. So let's see here. So we do have the game of war plan. Now, war plan really does seem like the evolution of strategic command, to be honest. You can see the map is not as large as strategic command world of war. I do believe the actual title of that game is. But uh, supposedly we do have a more detailed game, which is quite nice. Okay. I mean, this is what we would obviously be looking towards bringing... Um, well, to bring Turkey into the war there. Well, yeah, this is it. But I suppose it's not too bad, actually. I mean, if we take a look over here, then, at Yugoslavia. So we have Hex's Logistics. Supply. Okay. What I'm looking for here, then. So we do have some Italian territory over here. Units. Okay. What I'm looking for here, then, is really resources. So what do we have here, then? Thank you very much. I think that was a follow, but I don't know. <laughs> I uh, don't think I've got my OBS set up correctly. I'll have to see that. Okay. Ah, oh, Borgside. Well, that's actually very good to have there. We also do have... I think this is just an urban center over here. Okay. But still not bad. Still not bad. I mean, having access to strategic resources like that would be very nice. Obviously, do have the Blessed Oil Fields over there. So... Hmm. Now in Spain, what do we have over here? So we have iron ore, that's very handy. We do have coal. Uh, we also have bauxite over here as well then. I think it would be uh, worthwhile actually bringing the Yugoslavians into the actual Axis. And even if we have to conquer them, that's not too bad there. Uh, let the Soviets attack you. Yeah, I mean, that's what I'm going to be leaning towards, really. I think what we need to do is try to take Gibraltar if possible, really. I think that's going to be what we have to try to look towards there. If we're in a position to take Gibraltar, it might... I don't know, we might make a push towards taking North Africa. It could be that we're in very much a Mediterranean-focused um, play here, really. Which is going to be rather intriguing in of itself, there. But at least with the Mediterranean, we'd have access to the Italian airfields, I'd imagine. Well, obviously, we can base out of Italian soil here. So that would give us some nice opportunities. I mean, shutting down Gibraltar, shutting down Malta... Being able to shut down the Suez Canal over here as well would be very, very nice. Hmm. It'd give us potentially additional resources to play with. Urban centers over there. Now, this is French Iron Order over here. So there are resources that are worth fighting for there. Okay, let's see. So we do have a convoy system over here, then. So we can see that we do have convoys, uh, right, so we have imports from Sweden. You can see all that uh, steel over here, well, the iron ore. Hungary, Turkey, giving us that as well. 
<laughs> yeah, may the milk be with you. May the milk be strong. So we do have two convoy routes here available at the moment. See, I'm not too familiar with how we want to be playing this at the moment. We are sending supplies to Konigsberg, which makes sense, obviously, East Prussia. We do begin the game at war with Poland, so we can bring that one to an end pretty damn quickly. Which we will be doing here. Now, it might be advantageous for us to actually try to keep the Italians out of the Axis as long as possible, really. I mean, obviously, once we do take Paris, they are going to be in the Axis. But it would be nice to try and use the Italians as some sort of um, proxy trade partner with the USA, really. You can see that they are sending supplies all out here. And this is it with the Italians. They are sending a lot of supply across the Mediterranean here. We do see there, so yeah, where the convoys would be heading here. Okay. They do have some convoy routes available. Right, okay. That's good information to have here. At least it's given us a background which we can work with. Now, if we take a look at the actual scenario here, I have actually changed the options to make it a little bit easier for people to take a look at. I imagine, let's see, I do have the options over here as well. Let's see, I can, yeah, let's see. Uh, which do you guys prefer? Hmm. I think we'll go with the uh, Camp Seb one over here for the time being. If people prefer to do the way around, we can definitely change it. Okay. So, yep, yeah, we'll save that there. If you guys would prefer to be the way, do let me know. Okay, so we do start with a number of calls over here, then. Obviously on the Polish border. Yeah, NATO. <laughs> now, we have a division over here, then. So we can see that the 15th division there, 10 strength, speed to 70%, effectiveness is 100%. We can also see the firearms there, different values, which is good to know. But something I do want to touch on first is the advancements over here. So if we take a look over here, then, we do have advancements for Germany and Italy. We can see where we look to be in these years as well. I think this is going to represent our advancements in those years. Now, currently we have assault over here. So that is firearms, artillery, machine guns, assault guns, and infantry tactics, anti-gun, uh, sorry, anti-tank, not anti-gun. Uh, breakthrough over here. We do have the heavy armor. <sighs> you know, I'm kind of tempted just to abandon heavy armor. Though that is larger tanks, better protection, high caliber armor, piercing guns. Anti-tank is gun accuracy, barrel size, tank destroyers, and transports. Hmm. It may be worthwhile keeping something in heavy armor, but I'm not too interested in the large, large weapons, eh? the the wonder weapons, we'll call them. We do have the interceptors over here. We have fighter bombers. I may completely disregard the fighter bomber program. We do have a close support over here. It would potentially be good to look at the naval air train, which makes sense. Navigation, optics, spotting, and payload. Large warships, warships, attack submarines. See, I might drop the submarines here. I know it sounds kind of crazy, but we are in 1940 over here in this category. It seems, yeah, year 1940. So what I'm going to do here is drop this investment. I'd rather spend it elsewhere to begin with. We have the naval air training. No. Having superior interceptors is very good, actually. Let's see, how does that change? Does that change at all? Right, research and maximum for this field here. So that leaves us with three points here to spend elsewhere. I think assault, right, that's at the max there. That's at the max there as well. Breakthrough, we can increase that. So five would be the maximum here. Hmm. Right. Yeah, I mean, this is where I'm kind of leaning towards. I think I might just get rid of the heavy armor, actually. I tell you what, we'll go, we'll go with that one. We'll give it a go. We'll give it a go. We can always catch up later on in the war, actually, if we do have the means to do so. But I don't think it's essential. And I think it might be, um... We could potentially just use the aircraft. Possibly, anyway. So, carrier operations, convoy escorts. We are going to be looking for a form of autarky. The thing is, once the... Well, I mean, the thing is, we're always going to be dealing with the Royal Navy. I and mean, eventually we'll be dealing with the US Navy as well. I think what we need to do is, like, shut down the Mediterranean. Basically, ASAP. I may be looking towards an earlier operation against, uh, France, actually trying to bring about the fall of France sooner rather than later. And, of course, France, uh, fell fairly quickly, but it would be nice to potentially, um, accelerate that fall. I don't know whether I'd go for the Vichy. 
I could potentially go for the VG uh, France option. It would bring the wall in France to a close. We'd obviously have a port. But we'd have access to the Mediterranean for the Italians. But it just make you wonder, is it worthwhile to take back? Because obviously there's some decent production probably in the south of France. But we can decide on that one. I think naval air training might be worthwhile. I do have four points remaining here. Interceptors, boost that. Can't go any further. Escort fighters could be interesting, so drop tanks, durability, bomber, escort tactics. Interesting. Let's see, so fighter bombers. Munitions combined, arms targeting. Hmm. Indeed, this is war plan. I think, uh, unfortunately, the stream has been mislabeled. Uh, if I could change it, I definitely would do. So, <laughs> yeah. Enjoy Mare Nostrum. I suppose it's accurate. We're going to try and turn the uh, Mediterranean into our RC. So that's not too far off. Right. Detection of uh, electronics actually is really quite good. I think we might put a large emphasis on the electronics, then, actually. That's not a bad idea, actually, at all. I think what I might do here, then, is remove the fighter bombers. It would be nice, but we do have a close air support. I think we definitely need to, um... Specialize, don't we? I'm loving the music, by the way. Do 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 do. Right, warships. I can ignore that. Can ignore that. We we need to focus on trying to get the actual German navy into the Mediterranean, which is probably not going to happen. So I feel what we need to do with the Germans here is focus on the assault on the breakthrough, basically on the air power. Let the Italians deal with. Um, the naval aspects there, really. Take the whole of France, that's obviously what it's like in spring 1942. The army have nothing to do until then. But that's true, actually. That's not a bad idea. Okay. I think what we'll do then is... Do we have a different walk for detection electronics? No. Uh, we could go with the naval air training then. I don't know if that means actual... Navigation, optics, spotting, and payload. Hmm. We'll try that, I guess. We do have close support over here. Escort fighters could be very handy. Bomber escort tactics, drop tanks and durability. We'll have to take a look at this. I'm sure we'll be able to figure this one out. Now for the Italians, we're going to look at really overhauling this. Convoy escorts. Ooh, we're going to probably need that. Right, hull size gunnery tactics and radar. Hull size gun size, anti-air deck and belt armor for battleships. Don't need that. Naval air trained in there. I think what we need then from the Italians is we need to focus on the actual warships capability. Have them increase their investment in convoy escort. Uh, close air support doesn't matter. In fact, I'm not going to have the Italians really bother with the air power. We need to focus on, obviously, the navy and focus really on just their general combat prowess. I think that's going to be the way to go forward here. I mean, especially with the breakthrough there. You take a look at that, they've got naff all in that one. Okay. Carrier operations, I don't think they have carriers anyway. Detection and electronics. Hmm. We'll go for the detection and electronics then. So I think that's looking pretty good there. So we do have the Germans focusing mostly on the air power, obviously the ground as well. Uh, but obviously more of the electronics aspect. Electronic warfare, but obviously the air. I think that's going to be the way we go with it really. Okay, let's take a look at the actual reports over here. Forces, right, okay. Land power. So you can see that the Soviets have 1,180, we have 920, France 480, the British 105, US 75 at the moment. Now, air, we're doing pretty well. And I think we definitely need to really crank out the air power. Casualties units, okay. Let's see. We'll take a look at the actual strength then. So 30 seems to be the strength of the most powerful units then, that's good to know. As the priority of everything we are, the allies will hit us hard. Well this is it, isn't it really? Now let's take a look. Redame the unit there. Garrison status, okay, so that's good news. Now who do we have command over here, in command over here? 555, five, five. we'll take a look at that. I'm going to set these units to garrison status, actually. 
The reason being I don't need them to be right now, and it does reduce the actual supply usage over here. I may keep this as a mobile reserve. I'm half tempted to actually bring the fighters over to the east, perhaps. We'll see. Right. Full support mission only. Bomb airfields, right. So this is an air priority group then. Unit details close. Okay. Yeah, yeah, you'll probably see this unit. This unit, sorry, this number will go down, I should say. Let's see. I'm trying to remember now how we can actually give them the mission set up. I've not had that much experience with the game here so far, so do forgive me. <laughs> we'll leave them on support then for the time being. Now, I do have the actual tactical air group over here. I'm going to have that actually, yeah, this is close support. I'm going to have it shifted over to the east, actually. So we can have it set down uh, towards Breslau, which is probably not a bad idea. Looks like it's going to take two turns to arrive there. Unless I have it move via rail. Looks like it's still going to take two turns. How far can it move? Is it going to take two turns? Oh, no, no, it isn't. Okay, never mind. Right, we'll have it move out. There we go. It's not able to take part in the combat out of reserve yet, but it will do shortly. I imagine the supply will be produced in the cities. Yep, we do have supply produced in cities over here. I say logistics. There we go. Enemy action, weather, units, there we go. Okay, now we can actually take a look at the uh, ground over here. So we do have the bauxite over here. That coal over there. Hmm. What do we have over here then? Coal as well, not bad. You can see over here then in Iraq. I mean, Iraq is really quite an attractive option. I don't think this oil has actually been exploited during this time, but I mean, if you take a look at the map, we do have a large mountain pressure actually. What do we have down here? Allied Pacific Resources. Okay, that's good to know. Atlantic Ocean there. Yes, yeah, so Persia would be quite nice to bring it to the Axis if at all possible. You can see that they almost have a, as much oil down there as the Soviets do at Baku. But then again, you take a look at all the oil that the Soviets do have. But yeah, we need them. The Turks, what do they have? They do have uh, more bauxite over here as well. But yeah, we'll see what we can do here. Okay. So what we're going to do then is we're going to start getting into things here. We do have the Navy to take into consideration. I think as far as it goes for Norway, I'm going to leave... Uh, I'm going to leave Norway. I'm going to leave Scandinavia. The reason being, if the Allies invade Scandinavia, it does actually push them towards the Axis, which is actually quite nice. That the fact I do get an actual core over there. I think the uh, Norwegians actually join us outright, potentially. Let's see. Combat log. Deploy. So we do have some units to deploy over here. We have some Fajim Jäger. Uh, we have the Bismarck. Can I deploy that to the south? I could deploy that down there, I'd be happy, but I, I do not uh, imagine I can do that. So that's August, November, January, okay. Right, Latorio Group over here. Okay. Not ready as of yet. Trade convoys, we can see our trade convoys over here. Also, we train with the Soviets. Well, this is it, yeah. I, I think we just let them attack Norway, really. If it pushes them towards us, that's even better for us, then. Right, because of the victory locations. Now. War panel. Let's see. So you can see our influence over here, then. Obviously, we do not have much influence over the actual uh, British. So we do have a few options over here, then, as well. But let's see. Right, I can see who we're at peace with, can see who we're at war with. Influence. Yeah, so if you take a look over here, then not much with Norway at the moment. But that could potentially well that could potentially change there. Persia, not too much there. Sweden, eh, about the same there. Saudi Arabia has endless morale. <laughs> okay. So does Greenland and South America, that's rather interesting. We have a pan-South America. 
Okay. Yeah, these nations don't have that much in the way of uh, morale. Okay. I could try to influence some of these nations now. Hmm. I could attempt to intimidate Persia, but I don't think that's a good idea. I think it's more effective if you actually have units by them, actually. But I could potentially try to influence the Persians. Give it a go. I should have looked at what it was beforehand. I think it's still five, but we'll see about that. Yeah, I know, right. Yeah, they won't give up, ever. Right, okay, so we do have the ability to undo our boots, which is very good. Okay, so let's actually get down to the, uh, <laughs> to the actual business of war here, then. So, of course, we do have the ability to take Danzig from the outset, which is a very nice idea. I could march into Danzig and take that. What I'm looking towards doing is actually having this corridor uh, opened up so we can actually get the supply moving in. I do have a group of destroyers, it seems, over here, then. Let's take a look at details. Uh, cruiser group, actually. Right home. What I need to do then is actually mass the uh, Kriegsmarine. A Kriegsmarine. I'm going to have them mass over here at Stetton. Right, okay. So I do have these groups over here. Select all groups, yes. So we have Scharnhorst, Admiral Hipper. We have the first light cruise and destroy squadron over there. But they're going to head over this way. I do have the Deutschland... Yeah, Deutschland heavy cruisers. Okay. We do have some submarines over here then. What I will do then is... Let's see. Select you. Now we do see the convoys over here. I think what we need to do then is head out this way then. Yep, there we go. Gain a uh, strategic command vibe here. <laughs> and over here as well then. Okay, so we do have some units over here. We are going to be looking towards an early invasion of the west then. Uh, so we need to try and bring that... We just need as much power as we can potentially muster, really. That's just that's just a simple, uh, <laughs> simple way the cookie crumbles. Okay. Let's mass our forces over here, then. Now, I am going to set them to... Well, I can't set them to garrison status at this moment in time. The units I'm going to set to garrison status. Right. Now, these are simple divisions. It wouldn't be a bad idea to actually look to combine them. Okay. We do have another division. Sorry, another core over here in Berlin. So I could detach divisions from this core. But what I'm going to do here then is actually have them move out by the rail lines. I need to find out where my numbers are. Are these the numbers I have? I'm going to have to double check that. I think that's their personal stockpile. Okay. So move that reserve core out there. Do have the fighters there. Obviously they're going to be looking towards protecting this area. I think I'll have them based over here at uh, Hamburg. Okay, build. So we do have the option to build here. Okay, so now we can actually see our economy here to a degree. Loving the music, though. <laughs> you know, I'm not entirely sure, actually. We'll take a note of that when we actually go through the first turn. Uh, we're going to get started here shortly. Uh, so you can see our armed um, forces over here, then. So we have access to divisions, corps. Uh, so a small corps is made up of two divisions. A large corps is made up of three divisions. Cavalry, marine, paratroopers. It would be nice, actually, to take a look at what we do have. Let's see. Forces, units, okay. What I want to see then, so we do have motorized. Do we have any marines? Because I'm going to have to begin preparing for marines. I don't think we do have marines, actually. No, we do not. So I think what we're going to do then is actually put some production. Well, then again, no, no, no. I think what we'll do is we have to just go fully... Fully on board with the air power, really. I think that's going to be the way that we go forward here. So if we can uh, take a look over here. But let's actually take a look. So marine division. Salt... Anti-tank interest. It's obviously uh, reflects that role here. Okay. 
120 dice, 100 production. Yeah, it really does not have much in the way of production there. They do have larger shipyards, though. We do have significantly more manpower. Stockpiles. We have 354 production stockpiled. The Italians have 49 of 49. Oil, 90. Yeah, not good for the Italians. We do have a good amount of logistics here. Okay. We have support over here as well. Transports, land and ships, supply oilers. Okay, this is really interesting stuff here. Right. Yeah, pretty much. Air priority group, ground attack group, tactical group, and strategic group. Interceptors, escort fighters. We can actually choose what year. Uh, so these guys are very expensive. I would only be able to produce one of them, but it's probably worthwhile doing so now, actually. So we'll go for that, then. There you go. So you can see that we spent some of our stockpile over here, there. It's probably not a bad idea to begin building these guys up. Each point can carry one health of a land or air unit. Transport points I use until the unit is loaded. So I think what we do then is we look towards these guys. So you can see transports on 180, 6 production, 5 manpower. These guys are significantly cheaper. Smaller naval units that carry land units from transports to shore. Each point allows, okay, land units, um, one health to, one, sorry, yeah. Each point allows one health to invade a hex. I don't think these guys do that. So it might be worthwhile going for the landing ships. Supply trucks are always a good idea. It could be good to go for the air transport, actually. But I think what we do then... Uh, coastal defences would be nice later on. So I think what we're going to do then is build up an actual stockpile of landing ships. Oh, not enough shipyards. Okay, well there we go. <laughs> that didn't last long. Carrier groups. Yeah, they are... Wow, they are expensive. Divisions. Okay, so divisions aren't that expensive. A core. Yep, okay. How much for the paratroopers? 180. Marines are 100. Armoured. Yep, you can see that's quite expensive. I think what we do with the armour is probably go towards the... Um, Mechanised, really. The mountain cores would be very interesting. I can imagine, obviously, they're going to have a significantly better time in the awful terrain, which is something to take into consideration. 120 for this guy. How much is the headquarters? 100. Cavalry's 120. Okay. Shipyard. Merchant Marine. Escorts. Yeah, that's something to bear in mind there. But okay. Um, for the Italians, though, that's the interesting thing. It makes you wonder, is it even worthwhile? It's hard to say with the Italians. So we can see their actual pool over here, that's good then. Supply trucks 40, 2 air transport, air transport 1, uh, 40 landing ships, we have 40, is this just a combined? No it isn't, okay. Supply oil, uh, it might be worthwhile going for more escorts actually. Airfield. Hmm. Well, it's going to be a good question, actually. I'll tell you what we're going to do here, then. So we have 49 points. I'm going to actually build an airfield here. So let's see, where can I actually place that? Deploy. Okay, so we do have our landing ships over here. Uh, they're going to arrive on the 30th of November. Potion Jaeger. That's good. For the Italians, we do have the airfield that's going to arrive in October. Okay, that's fine, then. We have a few options here. That works for me. So what we're going to do now is bring about the cataclysmic fall of the Polish state. And once and for all, finish off what shouldn't be here. <laughs> okay. What I'm going to do here then. So we are able to select multiple units. I think it's shift. No, it's control. Let's see. Yeah, control click and that selects multiple units. So we have 5 to 1 odds of air, but what I'm going to be doing is using my air power to soften these units up. I think we're going to be looking at taking Krakow, uh, Krakow first. So let's move our units in over here. Right. Now, let's see. We have 3 to 1 odds there. I mean, this is it. Obviously, we're going up against a mechanized unit. 
Uh, it seems that his town is up, but it's actually poor terrain, and of course a river there. Looks like they're entrenched as well, so not the best. So it would probably be a good idea but to use the Flicker Core over here, but uh, to use the airstrikes. Now, Krakow is obviously an important location. If I take a look over here, victory locations. Interesting enough, it's just considered as Warsaw. If you arrive in Moscow, let the Hungarians take it. <laughs> yeah. Oh dear. Okay, we're going to use our air power. I'm going to bring actually the headquarters closer to the front lines. I'm not entirely sure what the role of the headquarters is and how they actually affect the game as of yet, but we'll see here. Call tactical air defense, I don't know what that does, but that's interesting nonetheless. Defend interesting, okay. Huh. So we have 665. Uh, 675. Over here to the north we have Conclusion 656. 765, okay. So fair commanders here then. Right, we'll use that air power over here then. We do inflict some damage. I think we... Alright. We suffer some losses here as well. Strength still seems good, though. Okay. I am going to be looking at using um, more air power potentially here, but it's hard to say. I mean, could I, uh, sort of Warsaw is where we really want to be. I think we inflicted some damage, so we now have 4 to 1 odds. I think a little bit more, and we might be able to take it, but 4 to 1 odds ain't too bad there at all, actually. We'll give it a go. So they do hold. Now, we do have the ability to attack with this unit here. That's 2 to 1 odds, which is not, in my opinion, large enough to really make it worthwhile. Right. 5 to, one's, uh, five to 1 odds over here, then. We'll attack. The Krakow army is forced to retreat, it seems. 3 and 4 here. Oh, is that the point cost? Okay, that makes sense now. So I should have written right, that makes sense. Sorry about that, guys, learning this one. <laughs> Right. The good news is we will have a lot of air power in the future. I think that's what we really need to push upon is the air power. Right, so we do have a cavalry corps opposing us here. I think we'll do then is go from the north. Ah, I do have issue notes. Okay. We'll see. Hmm. So they do have air power here. They do have fighters. I think what we'll need to do then is actually achieve a link up between these forces over here, these fronts. So that's something that's worthwhile to consideration. I think I might ignore Danzig for the time being, then. I mean, this is a lowly division. We could attempt to cross the Vistula over here, or we could attempt to move into Poznan. It might be worthwhile to actually move into Poznan. Uh, we do have the armor over here, but we don't have that much in the way of divisions. I was to take a reserve core that could have potentially been shifted over here, but we'll make do. Okay. This is actually a weakened force over here, then. I'm going to attempt to prioritize it for reinforcement, but what I'm going to do here, then... So it's currently in position here. I'm going to have it shift over this way. I'm going to have this actual division move in here. It's a fair strength as well, actually. So they're going to be told to hold, okay. Actually, I'll tell them just to defend. I think hold would tell them not to basically uh, allow themselves to be forced out of the area. Let's see, actually. Oh, so I can't go back again, okay. That makes sense. Now, that's probably a better position to hold, anyway. This is forest clear marshland over here. I'll hold in the actual... Um, hills over here, actually. That makes sense. Right. Let's see. Find ourselves being opposed by this group over here. Strength is half, it seems. So we can concentrate our air power against this unit. Though I could potentially concentrate my air power against this unit here as well. I think this is the unit we go for, actually. There is a cavalry corps over here. We have an infantry corps here. I think this is the one that we actually push out of the way. So we have taken Danzig by proximity anyway. That's fine. So we'll strike against this unit here. They actually do take some good losses. Uh, not on that attempt there, but we still did pretty good. Right, I do have my close air support over here. So I'll use them against this formation. And again, that weakens them quite nicely. Uh, no more moves there. We do have you with a the range. 
sends you in. That's pretty good. And again. And again. There we go. Okay. Now, 10 to 1 odds here. 8 to 1 odds here. You do not need to move, so I'm going to have you launch your attack. And you aren't able to launch your attack over here as well, so we will do so. And it shatters. Okay, now that is, uh... That's probably the best result I could have had there, really, isn't it? If it shatters. Okay, I'm happy about that. Let's see. 10 to 1 odds there. And they shatter. Leaving the door open. To move even further south here. Okay. Hmm. I could move directly south. But that does leave my line... Well, my position somewhat open. I could have this unit move over here, actually. Which is not a bad idea. Hmm. I think we'll see what we can do over here, then. But if I can actually get this unit out of the way, it does leave the armor open and able to move. So I think what we will do, then, is... I'm going to look at actually bringing this core to bear against the actual... Polish core over here. Let's see. So I could use potentially both units. This is a 4 to 1 odds. This has a 3 to... Yeah, 3 to 2 odds there. Yeah, fight is down here by Warsaw. 6 to 1 odds there. I think we'll go for that. Right there. Force retreat. I can move there. Yeah, but not in a very good... Not strong position there, are they? Not what I would have hoped for, actually. I was hoping for something a little bit better. But it does mean that we could be, the, uh, we could be on this side of Warsaw very, very quickly. Hmm. I think this is a command radius, perhaps? Or movement? Looks like these guys are benefiting from the command band with the flags. What odds even as I'll move units over here to uh, just help protect our flank? Okay. Bam, 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 bam. So I could potentially move to destroy that unit. <sighs> what I'm going to do here then is move the Frontier Guard Corps. So it's a wee, uh, it's not a very strong core, but it's not bad. Hmm. Move it over here. Not very good odds. Okay. So there's five points over there. Three here. I think what we'll do then is we go for it. So I do have four to one odds there, even with the river crossing. I don't have range. I'm just, just out of range there. These guys don't have range for it either. Uh, I've only got the fighters over here. Okay. If only I had more tactical bombers <laughs> or close air support, that'd be excellent. But that's okay. We still have fair good odds there. Fairly good odds. Right, they do hold, goddammit. But we do force them to retreat here. So, not quite what I had in mind, but not bad. Not bad. I could have this, but yeah, what we can do here then is use this unit to open up the actual area. Move that back just a little bit there. Right. So it does open up the actual corridor over here. I tell you what, I'm loving this music. Holy moly. Hmm. I do need sufficient strength to um, destroy these units, but it might be worthwhile moving another core over this way. But I tell you what, we'll look to kick them out of Poznan. If at all possible, so that's two to one odds there. I only have one to one there. Is that even... Oh, okay. Reduces their ability, but I could move here to the north. Which we'll do here. That's four to one odds, and they're forced to retreat here. Okay, that unit is left without any ability to move, but we do force them out of the city of Poznan. Okay. Three to one odds. Six to one forces them to retreat. 
Yeah, that'd be quite nice. I mean, that's what I'm looking towards doing here. Uh, one there, so I don't have the ability to attack. I'm not going to attack the cavalry here, but I'm good. Um, well, I can't do that, but uh, okay. <laughs> I can move you over here. Okay. Should have left a gap there, shouldn't I, really? Oh well, we're here to learn. Six to one. They're forced to retreat. Seven to one odds there. They're forced to retreat yet further. Oh, I forgot about you. God damn it. Oh, that was bad of me. <laughs> I shouldn't have done that. But hey, learn it. <laughs> Let's see. Still have three to two. Use our air power. There we go. Inflict some nice casualties. Provide no ability left. Two to one odds there. They do hold, but we do inflict further damage on them. No. If I move my armor down, we might be able to attack Warsaw with both units here. But what we could do instead is look to link up potentially over here. If I kick these units out of the way, then we could link up. I think that might be a good idea. So maybe. I mean, I can't cut them off this turn, but actually this is not even... Uh, this might be the way to go. Hmm. <sighs> I tell you what, I might go for that position there. The reason being, it isn't Warsaw. I mean, if we take a look at this, then, so we'll remove units. Yeah, so it's the center between Lodz and Warsaw. I might, I could potentially have both Panzer units take um, part of the attack there. And if we took that, it would actually, we'll give it a go. We'll give it a go. I don't think you'll be able to actually contribute to the attack. I'm going to give it a go. How much would I have if I went over here then? Not that much. I mean, I could attack this unit and kick them out of the way, perhaps. Um, it's tempting, actually, but I don't know if I have the ability to do so. Let's see, what can I do with the armor here? 10-10, no matter really where they go. I'll have them move over here and give us reconnaissance. Is this open? Can't be open. Surely not. It's definitely not open. I'm going to put that down to a failure of reconnaissance. I could look to move here and link up, but I don't know if we could manage that. Hmm. I wish I'd use my uh, infantry in a better, better manner now. Probably the air power as well. Probably would have done better if I uh, didn't forget about these guys. Uh, four here. Yeah, link from the bottom. What I'm going to do then uh, is look to get this unit out of the way. Oh, see, it was clear. God damn. I might have enough. 7 to 1. They're shattered. Oh, God damn it. Uh, I don't think that's considered my territory, but I don't, I don't know. I should have moved there to begin with, but we have shattered that unit. God damn it. I don't know if that's uh, considered part of ours now. Italians, I don't really need to do too much else. I can move the units around, which is good news. Oops. I think what we'd look to do then is actually have the... Um, I'm going to have some additional forces over here, just in case. I'm going to have to... Uh, I'm going to use the Italians to move them south if I can. Okay. Tactical group there. Yeah, that's true. So it looks like these guys can move around here then, which is good to know. I think what we'd be better off doing then is actually having our air power positioned over here, really. I'd like to move a additional unit over here just to actually ensure security, actually. So I do have this unit here.
What I'll do is swap it over here then. Embark. Right, nobody's a worthy talent yet, so what I'm going to do is actually look towards moving that unit over here. The reason being I could uh, establish control of the Corsica then pretty quickly. But what I'd like to do then is try and use uh, Sardinia as our unsinkable aircraft carrier in that region, really. Yeah, I do have uh, roads over here as well, actually. I can make use of as Italian. That's actually a very important location. It might be worthwhile actually moving some forces there. Um, yeah, I mean, this is it. If I could move additional forces into Tripitania, that would be very nice. But I think for the Italians, what I'm going to do here, then, uh, place these units on garrison status. They're not going to be attacking anyway. Try and save as much as we can with them. Yeah, the armor needs to be moved out elsewhere. Yeah, there's the Italian fleet. I need as much of the Italian fleet as I can potentially hold on to, really. So I think what I'm going to do then is I'm actually going to have it uh, move down here to Naples. The other asset's going to move over here by Naples as well. The reason is I'm going to try and use this as something of a trap. If I can build an amount of air power in this region here, we can potentially use it to destroy the Allies' uh, fleet assets, really. Something to take into consideration. I think beyond that, we kind of have done everything we can here. So we're going to go forward into the next turn. Do have some forces. So you know what, actually, I'm going to go ahead and uh, go through this. Uh, so the guys who aren't moving to garrison status, then that's a good idea. That's a very good idea. Try and reduce our, well, supply usage as much as possible, really. Garrison, yep, there we go. I think that's about as much as I can do there. So we're going forward to the next turn, then. See how this turns out. So we'll end the turn. I think that could have been a better turn. Could have been a worse turn, but not bad. Not bad, really. Right, so you can see all the moves there. Yes, yeah, so they still control the corridor there. Who knows, that might push them to where we want them to be. Yeah, so it looks like they've reoccupied Poznan. That's fine. I suppose in some ways it's actually uh, forced them to move to the south, perhaps. So we have the end of this turn of the Soviets willing to uh, invade here as well. It's not going to take as much. Okay, turn report. No reports available, okay. So we can see the weather over here then. see the actual movement. So they're moving over here then. So let's take a look then. Uh, reports. Oh, so I don't see the first reports from the first turn then. Okay. <laughs> I kind of wish I could see that now. Uh, dear. I can just go back and check for it, couldn't I? Right, so we have what we wanted over here then. Have this control. It will be, Well, all we need is Warsaw. I can move this unit here. I think we're in a good position to take Warsaw, but that's a very... Oh, that's an army, okay. So that's a very large force then. I think what we do then is we use our air power to reduce it then. Right, not quite within range. I can move over here to Breslau. Still have range. We'll bomb the hell out of them in Breslau. From Breslau, I should say. No damage. There we go, a little bit of damage inflicted. The good news is the Panzers are already across the river, so they don't take that modifier. Yeah, 3 to 1 odds on their own. 4 to 1 odds there. What we'll use then is the actual power here. Yeah, Pogna, uh, Poznan and Rio doesn't matter, you are correct on that one. Only issues I can't really move many of these men. 
Uh, it might not even be a bad idea to potentially... Um, I might even have them begin to move to the west already, actually. I think that's going to be our option there. There we go, more damage inflicted. That's what we want to see there. Very good there. Very good. What I'll do... Yeah, so you can see how many points I have. Move them here. <laughs> yeah, something like that. <laughs> how you doing there, AT? Good to have you, my dude. Yeah, this is it, really. There we go, that's a lot of damage inflicted. I think the air power has done quite a good job. We do have the infantry here to back us up. Right, we'll use the infantry here, then. Six to one odds, uh, pretty damn good. Right, move into the city. Ten to one odds, two to one odds, ten to one odds, they shatter. What I'll do is move them there to link up and actually allow better units to move up there. Right, move up the headquarters. So I do have a very strong core I can use. Two to one odds though, which ain't great. Let's see, I can attack with the other core over here as well, so we'll do that. They do hold. God damn them. But it shouldn't be too difficult to take care of them. Five to one odds there. Uh, right, you've done everything you can. This is an air superiority group. Could airstrike, but is there really any point to that? And I'm going to say no. Right, you could move there. Right, six to one odds there. I think we'll be able to take Warsaw here quite easily. What I'm going to do then is move you. This allows you to move in there. Move you here. Three to one odds. They shatter. Okay. Take that position there, and they can participate in the attack. So that's ten to one odds. And they shatter. Move it to Warsaw. So I think the Polish should should surrender potentially. I could move in there and take what I Tusk. Let's see, I think we can check on... I think I've got to capture a certain amount, haven't I? So let's see, war panel. Poland. Morales 21. Hmm. I forgot what he said that we need to take for Poland. But if we take a look, picture locations. I think we have it. But it's probably a good idea to take some uh, additional... But these guys are now pocketed, so that's good news. What I'm going to do then is actually have these additional forces begin to move out towards the west. Indeed, huzzah. Right, move them to you, Danzig. I could look to form another core over here. But what I'm going to do then is have them move over here too. Can't move as of yet, so I'll, I'll just march them. Not like that, though. Seven to one odds there. Okay. Port one. Run their force retreat. There we go, they shatter. I think I might wait until the next turn then, potentially here, but you know what, actually, no, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to pull more men out.
don't attack with them, keep them uh, good strength. I think I might look to move in towards Bressa Tusk. I think they're kind of done for now anyway. I may even just keep the Panzers there for the time being. I think the Polish should surrender, Im well, imminently anyway. I'd rather not have the Panzers move further afield. Okay. 169 on the stockpile, 206 on the stockpile. <sighs> Tactical group, night air train, uh, sorry, naval air train. So I guess that's what we're looking for there, 330. Okay, let's see support. I bet you anything we could produce, like, radar soon enough. I think we're going to continue to save the production there. Let's see, advancements. Right, so this is the amount of time. Ah, so I think it's two weeks at a time there. That's good to see. So we'll end the turn. See what happens with Poland. I think they'll surrender. You can see the Soviets now taking the... other half of Poland. You can see Brasotowska has fallen. I mean, these units will be easy to wipe out. Yeah, there's only this part of Poland remaining. So I think it's worthwhile then actually uh, getting those troops out from the east there, really. <laughs> yeah, it is war plan. It's just unfortunately uh, the, <laughs> the title has remained. Uh, but it should say war plan. But uh, what do you not? We will be turning the Mediterranean into our own sea anyway, really. Yeah, so we're going to look to shift the entirety of our air power to the west. Uh, we'll look to just engage really as soon as possible. Uh, was the neutral ter air territory has been moved to deployment queue. Okay, that's good news. Uh, the USSR occupies the eastern half of Poland as per the secret protocol of the molotov ribbentrop Pact. Uh, Poland moves its capital to 178.58. Convoy attack, okay. So, one group sinking, two convoys, one escort. That's good news. Okay, I'm going to move my actual submarines though. Cannot remain in one position ever. Let's see. Bound there. Yeah, exactly. There we go. See British assets over there. Right. So some Polish remaining. That's fine. Be able to take care of them pretty easily then. Hmm. What was the report there? 178.58. 177, 178.58. Okay, so let's do Polish capital over here. Apparently. Is it worthwhile even attacking these units? I don't think so. I think what we'll do is we'll just take their last remaining centers of production, and that should be the end of it, really. Make sure it's down the rail lines. Ah, Polonan. Probably that one. They held. Wow, that's impressive. Hmm. Hey, did the Marauder. You can't split them up, to be fair. There we go. I think it's just a few uh, urban centers that we have remaining to take. And that should be about it. So I'll do it as I use the close air support over here. This will be moving, though.
There we go. Inflicting uh, handy losses on them. So we had air attacks over there at Essen, it seems. How much do I actually have in the pool, then, if I'm using rail stock? Logistics. Okay, so I'm probably just going to march them, actually, I think. Well, no, 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 no. We'll rail. Get them where we need them in ASAP there, really. Uh, we need to have a sufficient number of troops to really just push our way through here. But I'm going to look towards um, an earlier war with the West. Early as possible, really. Yeah, your defense is okay. So I do have 283 here then. We're gonna go with another air group of interceptors. Right, November. Good job we did move all these units then. Okay, three to one. Day shots are okay. That's a pretty strong army. Well, that's it. It's, it's a bloody army, actually. That's a good point. <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, well, this is the NATO. Um, Counters. What you can do here, then, is you can actually put the counter set to and you can see what is what there. So I'll go with this one for a little while, demonstrating how it's actually used. I like the fact it actually has the uh, flags there for the actual headquarters. That's pretty cool. Okay. I'm going to begin to move the headquarters out as well. There we go. Early the better over here, really. I'd be somewhat tempted to begin um, preparations to your attack really right now, but I want all the uh, power in position first and foremost, however. But they should surrender. I don't think they have any urban centers left to them now. So we'll turn. That should be the end of Poland. Okay, yeah, those are our moves as well. Let's make it die. Well, it's actually attacked us. There's nothing really left. <laughs> yeah, you can see the Soviets. We are going to have to maintain a garrison of Warsaw, actually. Six units. That's something I need to remember. Uh, so we'll leave what's around Warsaw, then at Warsaw. But it said six units. I don't think it mentioned anything about the size of said units. Yeah, Poland surrenders. Convoy attack there. Uh, nothing sunk there, but we do sink something over here. Uh, Germany annexes Western Poland to, uh, into the Greater Reich. Okay, fantastic. So, I've got to switch that back, actually. Oops. There we go. I like the pace of the game. It's definitely a quicker game. Okay. Damn, can't go any further than that. That's fine. I'll use my rail resources then, I guess. Headquarters are very important, in fact. Okay, so we need a few units over here, then. And 
does anybody remember what it said? Did it say six units or six cores? I think it said six units. Hmm. Well, let's see anyway. See our production slightly increased there now, I think. Which is good news. 142 in the stockpile. How's oh, this? Uh, okay. Hmm. I see. Guess I'll leave these guys here for now. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six. I think that's all we needed. Prioritize them for replacements. Which, in fact, could increase that, I guess. Try and double it, actually. See how that works out for us. I'm just going to have these guys moved over here. I think what we'll do then is we'll look at the situation next turn and genuinely decide if it's worthwhile attacking. Am I attacking even in the poor weather? I think the earlier the better, really. Yes, it will cost us, but I think the earlier fall of France and just just doing everything a little bit earlier might give us that. Just, well, just give us what we need there, really. It might be worthwhile to try and, uh, hmm, hard to say, I mean, do we deal with the, the, um, Benelux first? I think we move through the, uh, den, but I think what we do is we try to, um, envelop them, much like in, obviously, real life, envelop the actual Anglo-French forces as well as the Belgian and Dutch forces in the north, just basically move and sweep in towards the, uh, towards the coast there. Police has low supplies, so we're gonna have to move them back home, but they've been doing quite well, actually. So begin to move these subs back home then. Looks like we came under attack there. We'll keep moving them back home anyway. The weather's not bad actually. Cold, we'll do it. Supplies, all good. All good under the hood. Yeah, I think that's the best case scenario there really. Okay. Besides, they're pretty good. Casualties, okay. And the British strength then is increased, and the French strength is increased, and then so definitely the earlier the better there, really. We take a look at the air power. We definitely have more than them. Combined as well, actually. I think we just go through there. But I need to be ready down here. Disembark them.
Gonna need the headquarters down here for damn sure. Okay. I have to see actually where they've moved as well. I think we'll just go for it, really. <laughs> it's uh, it's going to be interesting. It's uh, it's going to be very, very interesting. So let's take a look here at the war panel. Let's take a look at the advancements, actually. Nothing made as far as yet. We can see this is actually ticking down. Especially on the detection of electronics. This could be very, very good. Even the towns are getting better, actually. You can see that we're doing good here. Breakthrough is going to be excellent. Intercept is going to be fantastic. Uh, we'll have reinforcements due soon enough. November 30th. November, January, February, March, August. Okay. Uh, we do have an airfield ready. I'm going to bear that one in mind, actually. The Italians will only come into the water for the French abandon their borders. Well, this is it. That and if we take Paris. If I take Paris, it's going to bring the Italians in anyway. Um, I think what I'm going to do is actually make... Mm, no, we'll just, we'll just do it now. I think we'll do it now while the weather's okay. Yes, yeah, cold. If we can get in here now, that'd be good news. At least it'll help us on the actual defense. Would be nice to have a better weather ball go through bloody now. Right, let's see, Luxembourg. And I could declare one of them separately, we could move through here. But I think I might have to just declare war on the Belgians, just so I can actually move through here. Which I think we'll do then. So, declare war on Luxembourg. Germany declares war on Luxembourg. Belgium too. There we go. Okay. I might just declare in the Netherlands as well, actually. Might as well. Don't say that. Hmm. It just makes me wonder if I do that, am I going to be hurt myself? But it does give me the ability to move here. We'll see, we'll see. We'll see how things go here for the time being. I'm not able to move onto French soil quite so much yet. But we'll be in a good position over here. Right. What we need to do then is look towards using our air power to reduce certain key units. Indeed. <laughs> uh, we do have pretty good odds over here though, actually. Let's move you here. Uh, six to one odds there. It just means I could potentially use more infantry here. Uh, we'll declare war on the Dutch. Gotta give it, get it over with anyway. Declare war on the Netherlands. Hmm. Nine to one odds there. Oh, you have a garrison unit. Whoops. Three to one. Two to one. Move you there. Move you there. Oh, I see you can't be used anyway. Six to one. Six to one. I think we go for this one here. Right there, force retreat. Five to one. Yes. If only I had that available.
I could probably move some units down here, but we'll see. Right, that closes that. I can move you in here. Oh, you're not actually a garrison unit, are you? These are set to active. Probably should have just kept that on active as well, actually. Oh well. Lessons learned. Hmm. See, if I'm moving here, then... I think it's worthwhile moving. I could move across here. I think we'll go for that. Ten to one odds there. Ten to one odds here. But... I think what we want is actually... Yeah. They've shattered. I've only had more movement here. <laughs> yeah, over the moves and power... Far away. Now... Let's see. Move the air power up. I think what we could do here then is attempt to hit these units. I think maybe this one. But even then. Uh, yeah, I think... Mm, let's see. I don't want to use any additional logistics just in case. I'm going to have to learn how logistics actually work in the game properly. But they can make good progress anyway. Well, that's six units. Okay. Do take losses there. Okay, let's see how that turns out. They do have the ability to uh, cross over here, but I doubt they'll go for it. I doubt that they could even. Anyway, I think it might be worthwhile making you an active unit. I might just activate these units entirely. Yes, it increases the supply usage, but fuck it. Right now, logistics. I don't know what my actual logistics uh, is. I'm probably like using too much here. We'll see how the turn looks out. We've got a nice position anyway. Yeah, Luxembourg has surrendered very surprisingly. But we've opened up. We've got a free hex wide. Hole in their lines there. Let's see what we can do with that. Looks like they're pulling out, or. They're, they're reacting, and I don't know how they're reacting as. as far as yet. It's a lot of Soviet units. <laughs> I don't know if we can bring an end to the uh, past government and then the uh, subsequent Bordeaux government. Be quite interesting. I think we might have a good shot at taking North Africa if we move as, as just as quickly as possible. Alright, we do have a good, good amount of men here. Luxembourg surrenders. Okay, yep, they've got no supply. Overall, not bad, not bad. Alright, we do see some units over here. But what I can do is move the infantry up here to actually um, illustrate what's going on here. Actually, I should have them prioritized for reinforcements. But it looks like we could be on almost the outskirts of Paris pretty quickly here. Okay. That was a bad idea, actually. Move you here. Two to one odds. So that is a Belgian unit. I think for the Belgians it's just... 
Just Brussels. So if I was to take Brussels, we could force them to surrender pretty quickly. But they do have Antwerp and Rotterdam, actually. Mm, no, actually. Hmm. I figured out you tell how, like, what what are the enemy's production centers? But I, I feel we can theorize anyway. Does it tell you down here? Not entirely uh, certain, but we'll see. I mean, these units are still locked down, which is good news. So I feel what we can do is we can barge our way through here. That's like a uh, garrison unit as well, actually. And the good news is the weather is actually... It is deteriorating to the north, but it's actually still pretty good here for the time being. And it's obviously November now, but I think we push. We push as hard as we can. I think we'll be able to manage it. Right. Let's see. Six to one odds here. They're forced to retreat. We're able to move up. Okay, so we get to see what we're dealing with here. Okay. <laughs> what I need is divisions to hold this. Hmm. I mean, there's reasons why they couldn't move the... Uh, sorry, you couldn't build Imagino or real, real defenses on the actual border. In Belgium at this time, actually, I mean, obviously, uh, was it King Leopold? <sighs> Wasn't exactly the best friend to the Allies. Not really to the Belgian people there, really. Not to his own government. <laughs> he did stand and fight. He did stay with the troops and he did fight. But uh, decisions are uh, not particularly sound. I could try and take out Belgium here. It might be good to take out Belgium. But I think we need to focus on the French, really, first and foremost. I could look to take Lille. Move in to the south. Hmm. God damn the infantry man and his slow ass pace. Right, so if I was to break you up, how do I break you up? Right. Ah. And you can move too. Awesome. Um, yeah, that's what I've just looked at actually. It's funny that you mentioned that just now. Okay. Eight to one. Right, they're shattered. Three to one odds there. Six to one odds. Let's see. No movement available. Okay, that's a strong French force there. Gonna move you there. Let's get you out of the way.
small core, Baron no core. Okay. Good, we do have range over here. So what I'm going to be doing then is using this to eliminate this, uh, this unit, but I could cut off the actual forces over here. How you doing there, Alvaro? Good to have you, my dude. That is good to know. <laughs> Don't worry about the, uh, the stream being entitled here as Mare Nostrum. Uh, a little bit of a mistake there. I wish I could fix it, but I cannot, alas. <laughs> We're actually going for the video of attack on the west here. As I imagine it could work out. Yeah, it, it seems like it's uh, been a little bit of a mistake on the actual uh, stream side, but that's fine. We've had a good time so far anyway, which has been absolutely fantastic. Let's see, no more. Ah, there we go. Ah, this is the uh, fighter units, okay. I'm going to move the fighter units forward anyway. So we do have the ability here to move. Funny I didn't have them deployed there, but that's what it is. What I'll do then is I'll move you here. I could be in a position here to take uh, Brussels, perhaps. Hmm. Yeah, imagine no mine. Surprisingly not a good thing to attack. There we go. Reinforcement sound even. Um, I don't know if it's actually been released yet, actually. <laughs> I, I forgot to check. I, I, I'm not the best at this sort of stuff. <laughs> okay, it might be best that we... I think what we'll do then is potentially get around this unit here. That's a strong unit there. 5 to 1 odds here. There we go. 7 to 1 odds there. Okay. Right, so we do pocket these forces over here. God, I love this music, though. Okay. I see supply use there. I mean, this will probably get cut off here next turn, but I think we should be able to recover from that pretty quickly. Then we'll go forward. Actually, I do have some units to actually deploy, potentially. Yeah. Uh, something group. Oh, I do need to move my other forces, too. Ah, oh, if only. <laughs> Oh, they can move again. Oh, that's good to know. Hmm. I could have probably been in a better position if I divided some of these calls beforehand. But we're still looking pretty good. Let's see how we do here, then. I think the early attack is working out well enough anyway. Right in the middle of the Lille. Ooh. Yeah. We just absolutely need to gun for Paris. Looks like we're still in supply, that's good news. Oh, quick question there, Oliver Aero. Uh, is it six, six units around Warsaw? Five units? So I might need to send a unit back to Warsaw, actually. No, we got six units. I think it's six units. Well, that's fantastic, then, isn't it? Well, that's really awesome, Bell of Aura. Ah, I'm really happy for you, my dude. Congratulations. It's definitely a good game. 
Hopefully has no supply. 608 hex is okay. That's all right, then. Right, get your last set to port. There we go. Yeah, you can see the poor weather is taking effect, but it looks like we're in a solid position here to bring about the fall of France. So let's do that then, shall we? Yeah, these units should be in a weaker point of... Uh... Hmm. Let's see. Okay. I think we'll deal with these French forces, but then again, I might deal with these guys first. Three to one odds there. Hmm. That should be really awesome. <laughs> Indeed. Right. Four to one odds against that unit there. I can only make one attack. I mean, this is a very strong unit. We'll go with that one there. So they're forced to retreat, which is good news. I think we just move on to Paris. It's going to use that movement here. We'll get an idea of what we're dealing with then at Paris. It's a fairly strong unit, but I could probably reduce that using air power. Right, there we go. Uh, we could potentially try and force the French to surrender. Sorry, the Belgians to surrender here. But actually, you know what? I think what I could do is actually move up the air power. The closest spot is extremely good. Oh, they're still able to act. Actually, they're able to act against Paris, which is fantastic. These guys can't. Oh, no, they can. Oh, yes. That's very good news. As to how uh, effective this may be, I'm not entirely sure, but it's worthwhile giving it a shot. Right, we'll try and take on uh, Brussels then if we can with this. It is costly as doing this, but it's worth it. This is actually. Can't break that. <laughs> Indeed. Okay. Four to one odds. Holds. Hmm. Yeah, what I wanted to do with Paris is try and bring the uh, Italians in there, really. But it is a good point there. Might be better actually deal with Rouen. I think we'll do with Rouen then, actually. Ooh, it's a strong unit, so, uh, um, never, never, <laughs> never mind. 
I do need my infantry to arrive. I think what we'll do then is move the panzers over here then just to solidify control here until the infantry arrive. I think uh, possibly by next turn we might have Paris if we are very lucky. Yeah, there's only one hex there, so the French could get out of that potentially. Should be able to take Brussels next turn as well. I just need more infantry here. But I'll keep on using the air power to reduce the strength of the Paris garrison. The yellow side still hold it, which is good news. I think the earlier the better there, really. Fantastic. Right, I can send the submarines out now. That'd be a really dangerous one. <laughs> yeah, I know, right. Okay. Ah, unload hexes. Okay, so this is where is this where they come in then? That's interesting. Three to one odds there to take Paris. Try and reduce our strength as much as we can. <laughs> you can't predict that somebody's going to go to war with uh, with the West uh, in 1939. Well, already at war, but you know what I mean. Move that core over there. Okay, let's do the French over here then. It is higher to us actually, but there we go. Yeah, strong French opposition round here. Good wave shattered. Five to one odds over here. There we go, they shattered. There we go, they've surrendered. Shattered. I 
I'll have to reduce them with their power, but we'll see. I think we'll use their power there. Good news is this is now, uh, well, there we go, 7 to 1 odds. Yeah. Hmm, security division there. Three to one odds. <laughs> there we go. And Paris has fallen. I think what we look towards doing now is heading over this way. One to one odds there. I could move to Vichy. Could be a good idea. Could potentially even cut off these forces here as well. But that might be a little bit too much. We'll wait until we can organize, well, consolidate here. There we go. So we'll end with that. Then uh, we're going to go for a complete conquest of France, really. Belgium has surrendered. Superb. Good news as well, because the bad weather is coming. We might see the Italians enter the war now. So we're going to be very, very quick. I think what we need to do is try... It's one of these things, if we went for the Vichy uh, French regime. Yeah, France has moved its capital to Lille. Uh, with the capture of Paris, Italy enters the war on the Axis side. Convinced Germany will be victorious in Europe, Italy joins the Axis. Finland refuses Stalin's border demands. The USSR declares war on Finland with overwhelming force. Belgium has surrendered and obviously France moves its capital to Lille. Which is a uh, interesting choice, to say the least. Okay. We'll go ahead and take these urban centers then. I don't really need to hold on to it now. So I think what we'll do is we'll go to take all these urban centers we can. My calls are kind of being up. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Has a strong division though. Well, that's what we call. Good news, reinforcements are just arriving now. Hmm. I could try and form that into an actual core though. So that's probably a good idea. 
how do you form a call? I can give him special uh, specialities here. They will deal with Amsterdam. Okay, do they have to be by each other then? Hold out, uh, hold, up, sorry. Hover up small call. Oh, is it, do they need more movement points? Probably why even. We'll try next turn. That's a really odd. Uh, yeah, I'm holding it. No, coming up. Click on. Not give me options here. <laughs> Probably the movement thing, I can imagine. here shortly. You can see why we need the replacements, but that's fine. We have actually um, put more manpower on it, actually. Well, more production. We have a big stockpile, actually. Um, okay. I think more air power. I know it's a lot of, like, actual fighters, but I think it's going to be worthwhile at the end. These guys are always going to need... Hmm. I think even potentially air power for these guys, but then again, no, probably the army could be very useful. We might have them work on the actual, um... Yeah, I'll have them work on the marines, actually. That's not a bad idea. Yeah, at least then the Italians can use their navy. Have them, uh, used. Okay, but the Italians have entered the war now, so that's something to bear in mind. I think we stay on the defensive over here, really. I'd rather allow the British to come to me. I think we, uh, concentrate on our power over here, however. Have you move over here? Let's see. Could try for Malta. Hmm. I mean, having Malta would be very, very good. See some British units over here, so that's the carrier group there. Let's go be careful there. I'm gonna have this um, naval unit move over here to join the rest of the fleet, though. I think we'll use them shortly, but not quite yet. So we'll go forward. Now I am due to end here at 8. I haven't been told that I can't go any longer, so I feel we might go a little bit longer here. I'm genuinely enjoying the game, and I hope you guys are as well. Let's see. Let's make sure... whoops. 
but it's got information beds, so we kind of have um, been a little bit dirty. The fact that we have actually prevented the British from landing in France, which is interesting enough. So we'll see what we can do with that. Interesting boat to see that even when the French are cut off, there's still no slouches. But I suppose that's probably because they have a uh, supply centre in Lille. Convoy attacks looking good. Okay. Head for Baldo. Right, so we could move into uh, Vichy. Make sure we take that. Take Lyon. Brian Gannis some France. Uh, Paris, I should say. <laughs> even then still 2-1. to one. But I suppose that's probably due to our um, strength here, really. But I don't need a lot of strength. We can still manage this. We do have new cores that have just arrived on the scene anyway. It'd be nice to assemble some armies, to be fair. I don't know if I have that ability yet. One unit though, goddamn. Looks like it should be done now. Yeah, five to one odds. Surrendered. Captured those resources, which is very nice. Right. So shortly we'll have the ability to deploy these units. We have moved into January 1940, which is excellent. Right, focus on reducing that unit. I think I should try and prepare these guys to actually go for the assault over here, really. Yeah, I could embark them. Might be worthwhile just wait until the next turn until we have a little bit more room. Um... I've saying that. Hmm. I think what I'll do then is I'll move to. Uh... Uh, ships and subs can't be... Oh, we got subs. Oh, I do. Sweet. At least I could use them for reconnaissance, actually. But I'll use them aggressively over here. If anything, just to figure out what's going on. Looks like a carrier group, actually. Try and fill the area with submarines. I don't care if they get lost. If we can take Gibraltar, that'd be excellent. But if he comes out here, maybe we can engage him. 
Uh, there's not been anything said for a little while anyway, so don't worry. <laughs> Welcome to my life. Okay, we'll see what goes on there. These, yep, move them there. Be able to move across here, I think, next time. Or can I move now? I don't think I can move across yet. Hmm. Oh, is Italy? Oh, yeah, you are right there. Hmm. Eh, kind of works for me at the moment. Maybe next turn. Maybe next turn we'll clear with them. Yeah. Uh, where do I see the oil, actually? Nevalence has surrendered, that's good news. Hmm. Right, so there's British uh, naval assets operating after Marseille. Far left button in production. Okay, that's good to know. Disease Union having a lot of demand of oil, then. Oh, right, okay. Right, the Netherlands has surrendered. There we go. Sick of you more convoys. Excellent. Right, so we have French naval forces out here. Can I group them, actually? Might be uh, a better idea to group them. Hmm. I suppose that's their movement. Right, let's see what we're dealing with over here. Oh, right, so we'd have to have the British... Yeah, okay, that makes sense now. So we'd have to have the Italians declare war on the British. That makes a lot more sense now. Okay, now I get you. Now I get you. Seize Bordeaux. Yeah. That makes sense now. We have been cut off over here, though, so I do need to restore that. French are up a goddamn good fight, even though they have been surrounded. Yeah. That's true. There we go. Link up. I don't imagine the French are far from capitulating. Oops. Rialto should be moving this air power south as soon as possible. But I do need to allow my forces to recover strength, it seems. I'm probably using my forces quite recklessly here. Six to one odds there. Yeah, they surrender.
Okay. But not war yet. Might be worthwhile to actually have these guys. Bark. Well, I could be in a position here to be ready to invade immediately. That's not a bad idea, actually. Let's see. Ports. War panel as Italians. Ah, yes. Right, that makes sense. Both surrendered. How are the French doing? Nearly there. I could declare war on the French. But I'll hold off on that till... Until we're ready, actually. I could be in a very interesting position to land additional troops here. Yeah, 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 actually, we could be in a really interesting position to uh, seize uh, a port over here, actually. I think that's what we're going to do. Then I might do that next turn. I think we just need a little bit more and we'll be able to take the French. If I could get away with that, that'd be kind of... Kind of crazy, at least we'd have a foothold then in North Africa. Okay. I don't know if I was just attacked. I think it was probably just attacked. <laughs> so much for that. <laughs> It looks like it's just probably attacked. I don't think they're just tickling them. But that's fine. I, I can live with that. Well, they shouldn't be a war unless the allies have declared war. You, You know, sunk. Doesn't matter as long as we can get in there. Why is it not going to let me um, invade me? I'm not more the French. Probably why. Let's see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I'm not a war, which is why. Let's see. War panel. Italians. Declare one of the French. Is there is there a lack of oil? Ooh, cup of tea would be nice. Right click red hands, okay. Well, like. Ah, that was an actual hex? Okay, that makes sense now. Sweet, we seize the port. Thank you. That was really helpful, actually. Yeah, that makes a uh, tremendously. tremendous amount of sense there.
sort of link up over here. <laughs> you assume I read things. <laughs> oh dear. You're cute. I'm gonna go and take Corsica. Toulouse. Whatever that is. I think this is a microphone. Yeah, Germany. Okay. I think France might surrender then, perhaps. Well, no, they won't surrender anyway. Yeah, that's true. Okay. Let's bring about the fall over here. I'm gonna have to deal with all the French units, but that's okay. I'm gonna need the air power down here. In fact, I should have moved it over there. You know what? We'll move it into Italy. That's probably a significantly safer option. Ooh, that means I can deploy an airfield, actually. Let's see. I do have a Fushim Jäger ready. Airfield, deploy. About there. Sweet. Fushim Jäger. Munich. They can head south then. Have uh, marine divisions soon enough. Whoops. Nine. Yeah, April 20th, 1940. Oh, there we go. Now that makes sense. Yeah, so it seems like it was a movement point issue. God oh, damn you. It will fall. Oh, there we go. Shattered. Can I make use of the rail line? No, I can't, yeah. I'm not on the rail line, that's fine. See what this is like. So I could see tuners, that'd be really good. But the fact that we're all the, that we're even here in uh, North Africa is really, 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 really freaking important. I should really try and get as many units over there as I can right now.
Yes, yeah, so we'll have to deal with these units, but it's not that many. Right. So France is willing to surrender this point now. I mean, technically, we're not at war with the United Kingdom as Italy, so that's the best form of technicality. Well, technically correct is the best form of correct, I should say, and not sound like an idiot. <laughs> They move their capital to Metz. I think we're going to ignore the French uh, offer of surrender. Right. Right, just need some additional forces here. Tell you what, we'll land these troops over here then, actually. Disembark. Yeah, we'll take up uh, the opportunity now to get all the Italian forces across. Yeah, we'll need those too. So if I avoid war with the uh, British as the Italians, we should be able to manage this. But I imagine the, the, the British would be like, yeah, no, 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 no. It, it doesn't work like that, Cocky. You, you can't go to war our ally and like, let's it, not do anything. <laughs> right, that should be enough shortly. God damn, they put up a lot of big fine. I know these units are pretty weak, though. How you doing there, Richard? Richie Rich. Mr. Richie Bitch. There we go, they finally surrendered. Right, yeah, these forces absolutely need to be recovered. Well, restored. Okay, there we go. So the French would consider a capitulation, but who cares what the French say? Might look to get panzers into North Africa, actually. Make these units active. Okay, I'm going to base my uh, air power here. Yeah, we need to record more stuff. But I got some uh, new 6mm modern German stuff. I'm trying to get Richard into 6mm. We've been through a very interesting series of decisions there. I mean, Richard is the one who got me into plastic crack. And into, uh... Metal crack, as I don't know what you... Pewter crack, that's it, pewter. So here's the dirty smear merchant that got me into all of this. So we've gone from different phases. We've gone from 28 to 15 to 10. <laughs> now, and now I'm considered going to 6. <laughs> Uh, where does it end, Richard? Where does it end? But he loves it. He's like my little good time gal. The port here? Port's here, isn't it? Yeah. Get them loaded up. Get everything into North Africa. Let's check our uh, advancements, man. 79 days until we have new tactics, it seems. I always feel like this song's about to break into the live Soviet national anthem, actually. Right. 
Bum ba dum bum bum. Okay. Might be time to work on the tactical. Naval air. Good round tax, pretty good line of man. We might go for a channel dash. Moving to Antwerp. Looks like the Allies have got their power over here. Ah, oh, Pokemon keep moving. So next turn. Oh, actually, no. Volsium Jaeger is going to be interesting. But as many forces as I can get into there, the better, really. Might be able to seize Tunis. If Tunis seize, we'll have that. We're not going to give in to any Patan government. I mean, the French aren't going to react here, but we're just going to overwhelm them. So happy we're not one of the British. <laughs> that's fantastic. Oh, there we go. Anti tank advancements of one. That's fantastic. Yeah, absolutely. Right, we've finally got some superior cores over here now. Um, that's a question I wish I could answer, but I'm really in the dark about a lot of things. I'm not, I'm not very good at reading emails. <laughs> Disembark. To one odds there. Choose our air power. Four to one odds. Oh, they do hold, but we might be able to take them. Right, Tunis has fallen. Right, let's see. Special to point. Oh, can they drop? Oh, that's cool. I could have them drop. Might be worthwhile having them drop, actually. We'll have them drop. Ah. Okay, that's fine. British over there. Don't think I can uh, attack it because I don't have the reconnaissance over there at the moment.
Right. Have them move into Naples. Though. No, I can't see anything. And obviously, I was kind of deaf because I'm not well with, with them. Yeah, I like the pace of the game. Feels quite nice. Definitely get a lot done pretty quickly, which is pretty damn good. Hmm. Let's see, what's the supply like? Supply is bad over here. Actually, it's not bad over here. Not bad here either. Right, see with this. Damn, the French are pretty damn tough. <laughs> yeah, we need more on Sardinia. So I think what I'm going to do is actually whoops, move forces. Um, I'll move them to uh, Sicily, actually. Hmm. Or I could move them into North Africa, but then again, it's one of these, isn't it? I'll move some here. Make do with that. Yep, there we go. Our first new fighter unit is ready. Yeah, we'll have our uh, Marines soon enough. They'll come in very handy. One to one there. Yeah, not exactly great. Get them and then we can get them across there. Italian armor is really good. Hmm, they're low on fuel, so I'll get them back at the port actually. And the turn there. Should be able to overwhelm the French. I don't think they have that much left. Take the mainland, and then obviously we can take uh, North Africa. Oh, is that my submarines out here? Yeah, I'm going to assume so. Yep, it is. I could actually have them head into port over here, actually. unit is strong. I don't imagine the poor weather's helping us. 
Oh, it's urban, that's why. You can see our urban hexes are really quite strong. So the French could have been some Mets at the moment. Planes. Probably not what I want to be dealing with there, though. Hill still. You know, I'd really like to. I'm going to give it a go. I'd like to learn how to actually play the goddamn game. I tell you what, we'll use the actual armor. You know, actually, no, you know, no, 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 no. Move to Marseille. Back at Marseille. If I can get them into North Africa, holy hell. Three to one odds there. I don't imagine that's a good thing for the bridge. Well, actually, no, it doesn't matter for the bridge, does it? I love the fact I can use the rail line. Yeah, every base would have been a good idea. Uh, no, Italy's not war with the United Kingdom, which is why I can kind of <laughs> do some crazy stuff. 61 odds. Yep, they surrender. <laughs> yeah, it, it it seems a bug, I suppose. So why is I'm, I'm taking the absolute... Uh, I'm, I'm taking the <laughs> extreme advantage. <laughs> oh, dear. Well, here you go, guys. Enjoy what could have been... Three to one odds. Oh, isn't that nice of them? <laughs> yeah, no, that's absolutely right. Don't take his editorial criticism. Okay, need to move on meds. I just might. Well, only difficulty is obviously the uh, qualification is going to be pretty tough. But we'll get there. Okay, channel dash if we can. Oh, I can't go through here, but damn it. Well, they are at full strength. They might be able to just make it. Let's just try and make it down to the French coast here. Yeah, we'll move them in here. Could hear the British are trying to reduce them over here, actually. Right, there we go. 
Okay, we'll deal with these units and then uh, be good to go over there, really. I don't think there's much left for the French now. I think it's just Algiers that we need now. And then I'll try and blitz over to Damascus. I don't imagine the French really have much. Yeah. They would say, uh, so to surrender, but it's not good for me. Uh, forces. Yeah, the French just have what they have left. The British have built up, though. But if today if we can get the French out of the way, then we could try and move forces in to deal with the British over here in Egypt. I mean, I could kind of ignore the United Kingdom for the most part. Take control of the Middle East, be in a position to potentially invade the uh, Soviet Union through the Caucasus. I do uh, want to start building some units, though. That's probably a good idea. When do I actually get an advancement? It might be better to wait. Seems to nine days to have better assault, so I might as well wait actually for that. Interceptors are good. Breakthroughs are good. Warships. Attack submarines. Meh. Might be better off building up other assets actually. Oh, fuck it out, I'll go with more air power. Okay, that's good to know. In fact, I might put more of this into uh, the upgrades then. Reinforcements are quite good too. Should actually help our forces replenish. I think we have to wait for the French surrender to get the other uh, members of the Axis. There we go, just a few units left. I mean, most of the French are down here, really. Obviously, other than on the, um... Manjuno line. If I can get Panzer Group into uh, North Africa, that'd be fantastic. I might actually uh, produce some Panzer units. Might be a good idea. Finland concedes its border territory to the USSR. Finland will join the Axis when Germany takes Kaunas. Italy loan supplies. How do I produce more for Italy then? Do I reduce the amount of investment? Well, let's see. Armored Core. Hmm. I'm going to go for Mechanized, I think. I should probably better build an armor now, so we'll go with armor. Get those in production. We have Panzers in North Africa. There we go, surrendered. Use the air power. 
we'll have another 15 minutes and then we'll bring the stream to a close. I think we've had a good time here, actually. Yep, there we go, they surrendered. Thanks, Reddit. Not entirely surely, uh, sure how much damage I'm doing here against this. Oh, there we are doing some damage. That's good, man. Yeah, yeah, sure. I think it's good so far. I'm just obviously the uh, the bugger you mentioned, obviously with the United Kingdom, not a clear war. Just interesting. It's nice to have that little bit of like diplomatic uh, finesse you can employ. Really, it's quite interesting. Okay, do have another yuck yuck call. April twentieth. Have him soon enough. Yeah, not much oil there. Right, go them to port. It looks like they were attacked, but they're okay. Hmm. Fortifications could be tough to deal with, but. Uh, so, do the, uh, actually, no, that capitals are Mets, isn't it? So, how do you defeat an enemy that is surrounded by them? Will they eventually, uh, give in when they run out of supply? Training. That's good. Uh, sorry, naval air train. Right, that makes sense. So, special effort needs to be made to take mats. end comes for a breast. Port one odds. There we go, they surrender. Fantastic. I need more room. <laughs> I 
I keep a unit around here just in case. I think these guys will probably run out of supply soon enough. Is under control? Yeah, it seems to be the issue. Oh, there we go, they retreat. I wonder if they're actually paper tigers. They seem so. Hmm. No, actually, these guys aren't paper tigers. But we have broke through that. I don't know about the plane. <laughs> Use our air power. Uh, we declared on um, the French manual with the Italians. Ooh, 4 to 1 odds, very nice. Just need to use our air power against them. Yeah, the French kind of buggered over here. It'll cost us, but it'll be worthwhile. You can see the French have sent their forces over to Britain. Okay. Well, mess is actually not that bad. Right, we'll use that air power first. Doing well? Actually, really well. There we go. Choose everything we have, really. There we go. One to one. One to two, that's not gonna happen. Hmm. Yeah, that ain't gonna happen. <laughs> Okay, we've we'll our forces over here. Forty one odds there. They do hold, but they'll not hold long.
Hmm. Try and flank. There go airstrikes. Very nice. Not bad, actually. Reduces them a little bit. This is going to be a tough one to deal with, but we'll manage it. There we go. Oh, they do not have enough? Yeah, that's fine. However, unfortunately, ladies and gentlemen, we have run out of time. Well, at least I've run out of time. Technically, I was only meant to stream till 8, so I'm hoping that they're not angry at me. <laughs> but it's been a blast. I hope you guys have enjoyed this, and I hope to see you again in the future. So, if you've enjoyed my content, this is XDRG on YouTube, and you can find me on Twitch at XDRG as well. Uh, do pop over. Plenty of content there. Primarily one of the Pacific Animals Edition. But thank you very much here to Avalo, the uh, developer, or one of the developers. I do not know how large your team is. But excellent product. And looking forward to seeing it supported for many years to come. Until next time. Have a beautiful evening and an even better day. Thank you to Matrix for having me. And goodbye for now. Until next time, guys.